turned out. Yeah, she turned. Hey. <laughs> Hey yo, what's good you guys? It's Boomer with Bolly Star and today we're getting into why hip hop doesn't respect Eminem no more. Uh I've always respected Eminem, you know, great lyricist. You know what I'm saying? One of the all-time best lyricists. That's an undisputable fact. You know what I'm saying? Um and I, I even got some of the songs on my phone, but I only got the meaningful songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, what, the Toy Soldiers or something? Um, Mockingbird. Um, Beautiful. You feel me? Like, all, the music, like all, all that other... Uh, I don't know. Those are just meaningful to me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of course, I know about songs like Stan, uh, In the Closet. Uh, you know... <laughs> I think it's called in the closet. Um not there you know, my closet. I say I'm sorry, mama. Sorry, mama. But anyways, um, I don't know. I st I think it's rapidy rapidy, you know what I'm saying? He's rapidy rap rap rap. You know what I'm saying? It's like I don't know. And it's always kind of been that way for me. Cause like I like my music to have like a theme to it. You know what I'm saying? A uh, certain substance to it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, no, nah, but, you know, in some lanes, like, you know, like in the songs I got, bro, in those lanes, like, I think, you know, it's for me. You feel me? I was like, okay, no, no, no. Like, I can F with this. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. No, nah, let's get straight on into it, man. Make sure you leave a like, support the video. If you enjoy, subscribe. If you're new, so that we can join up with the All Star Gang up in this thing. Let's get straight on into it, man. Let's go. If you notice in hip hop, Eminem is the only rapper that, that nobody ever wants a problem with, including myself, man. Eminem is like the most lyrically insane. Even when I was going at 50 and, you know, and, you know, me and Dre wasn't seeing eye to eye, man. I stayed away from the white dude. He a problem. I don't think it's a rapper he won't slay. And you don't even want a war with Eminem, you know. I used to think Eminem was better than me. He not. He not. He's and like I said, like, minds change over time. You feel me? Like, back then, I used to listen to heavy Eminem, you know? Well, not heavy, but it's like, I used to listen to him, like, almost every day. It's like, now, like, he's in my phone, but I, you know, if I set my playlist to uh, shuffle, then, like, you know, his song would just pop up. But, oh, snap, okay, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not bumping them every day, because, again, like, my music taste just changed over time, you feel me? It's not. I'm not saying now I'm so bumping, like, like freaking Pooh Shiesty, like, you know what I'm saying? Since Baby. the early to mid 2000s, the name Eminem has been as synonymous with hip hop as Hulk Hogan was with wrestling or Michael Jordan was with basketball. Hovering above his closest rivals as the best rapper of all time, his immovable position in the culture cache has meant that even after his prime, Eminem emerged as the most popular male artist of the 2010s. But across all industries, it's natural that the most popular person is always going to catch a degree of hate. Yet in recent years, it seems that the hate for Eminem has gone beyond being too cool to admit to being a fan and feared into disrespect. Now, hip-hop's perception of M has mutated to the point where he's now as discredited as he is celebrated. Uh, somebody said right now, Eminem is the king of rap. Why would you say he's not? You got to come with a better name. I ain't playing Eminem in my car. You playing me yours? You sliding around playing Eminem in your car, you and your old lady? For starters, we have the plain and simple facts of his success. When you're on top for as long as M has been, there's only one place to go. Let's not forget that M began as a counterculture figure, brazenly knocking down doors and thumbing his nose at every attempt at censorship. But now, he's an artist who's more likely to launch an NFT collection, sell spaghetti from his own gimmick restaurant, and produce music for a Marvel. And it's crazy when I look at that now. Like, I thought he was crazy for saying that, but it's like... Back when I was listening to Heavy Eminem, I, like, it was, I was practically a teenager. <laughs> Like, you no, know, like before the age of even getting a car, you know, just sitting in my room, just like, you know, listening to music, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I listen to Eminem just in my feels, you feel me? But it's like now when I ride around my car, you know, it's got to be a certain time of day, like freaking, I don't know, freaking Thursday night, late night drive, you know what I'm saying, on the freeway, you know, just reminiscing or you just thinking about something serious and that, you know what I'm saying, you play that song, you know what I'm saying, it's like, you gotta have a certain mood to it, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's a certain mood, you feel me, and it's like, now I'm not bumping this, like, you know, 
you know, with my chick, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, we just cooling, we chilling, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I mean, you know, for, for y'all M&M's, for y'all m and For y'all Eminem fans, <laughs> for y'all heavy Eminem fans, yeah, it's cool. You feel me, y'all? Yeah, yeah, you know, he's y'all favorite artist. Y'all bump that in the middle of the day. You know what I'm saying? You and your lady are big fans of him. You feel me? So yeah, I see that. But it's like, you know, for the majority of people, uh, man, we slapping some mainstream. You feel me? Like some that bang and is mainstream. You feel me? Fair to say that Eminem has had it easy. After all, he's faced an uphill battle. Eminem is mainstream, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, trap hip hop, dude. I'll just say trap hip hop, uh, yeah. Battle from the start of his career. Back then, I for me personally. Him. The source infamously refused to award him with more than four mics for any album, while Double XL took aim That's at him with a cover like, story in 1999 you know? entitled Message to the White Man. But over time, Currency. Eminem would overcome these hurdles through sheer talent. And as his flair for wordplay and eccentric persona penetrated middle America, he became the all-conquering man that retired in 2006 with Kurt and Cole. At that point, had he chosen to truly ride off into the sunset, M would have had a fairy tale ending like an Andre 3000. But, obviously, M didn't do this. And as he stubbornly continues to drop music even as he approaches 50, it seems like things are primed to get worse before they get better. Make no mistake, the primary guidelines for where M can be disrespected have been established for a long time. And in many ways, the most concise way of explaining them came from the unlikely source of Jermaine Dupri, in which he discussed the fact that M was more likely to beef with pop stars like Britney Spears and Mariah Carey than his peers. Oh yeah, Eminem, I left you out deliberately, he said on JD's reply. You know why? Because to me, you like a character in Disney World, known for dissing pop groups and Justin's ex-girl, though nobody take you serious. But if you were really trying to pinpoint where it all went wrong, the revival era is where the disrespect truly began. An album that was received poorly by everyone aside from the stands, the socially conscious record, which featured the likes of Ed Sheeran and Pink, accomplished the opposite of what M intended. Rather than being any sort of resurgence, it actually proved that he was no longer the young, hungry voice of a generation, but a 40-year-old bemoaning issues in a way that the culture wasn't looking for, and it made him seem out of touch. The BET Freestyle Cypher. Love the message. I love to see a white person using their privilege to combat prejudice. But yes. The bars was super subpar. Oh, it was a reach. <laughs> Donald Trump. Like, okay, hey, hey, white boy. Wilding out on Trump. We love that. That act wore thin fast. Oh, he yeah. even said that on Wookie. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know. I was mad he didn't I was respond. disappointed. So that lets me know you weren't doing it because you honestly were trying to use your privilege to combat prejudice. You were just trying to get Trump to respond to you. But where his attacks are. This is your chance. on tracks like Mosh felt vital, everything he was doing now felt try hard. But where the songs themselves were an issue, were proved to be even more of a roadblock, was how he handled the negative reception to the album. In some ways, the moment that B-Rabbit lists all of his flaws and insecurities to prevent Papa Doc from mocking him in 8 Mile, used to be the case of art imitating life. Never afraid to poke fun at himself, or make light of his turbulent upbringing, M's early material saw him switch up tones from aggressive to sarcastic and comical. But now, it seems as though some switched up, and instead of being unfazed by being the butt of the joke, he now exhibits his emotions on full display. With Kamikaze, the follow-up to Revival, M made a whole record as a response to the notion that he'd fallen off. The album featured Eminem taking aim at everything with more spite and less humor than ever before, signifying that the impenetrable force field around him was down. Maybe because it doesn't sound like everything else and, and, and what most people are doing, Maybe that was what tainted their ear. I remember a time in hip hop where you had to be so different from the next person or you were trash. There's a shift uh, somewhere that happened that if it doesn't sound like everything else, then it's trash automatically. Suddenly vulnerable, rather than self-assured in his position as a legend, the world collectively acknowledged the fact that his sense of invincibility was gone. And before long, everyone was taking their shot. I'm not impressed by that because right. anybody at this point can memorize a bunch of fast words. Machine Gun Kelly can do that. This sounds like a really whack rapper mm -hmm. that's like in his mid-50s trying to do an Eminem impression mm -hmm. with a whole bunch of dad jokes. Like this is dad joke rap. I don't know what album dad heard. Dad joke rap. That knows it's over. I heard him as fully aware that he has not said for about a decade now. Stop just throwing names out and thinking that that's going to be a single because you said a bunch of names. You ain't said 
Find another muse. Pull from somewhere else. You f superstar been sheltered and bored. MGK is right. Y'all been slaves to your own superstardom. You don't know about M. You don't know that it's probably three on the label that are better than you. While he ignored Gucci and never responded to Button's valid questions, M would once again dedicate time to battling lesser MCs and the likes of MGK and Nick Cannon. And as pointed out by Joe Button, it felt like rather than taking his respect as he once did, he was pining for his flowers in a way that is completely unrecognizable from Slim Shady. But talk about all you brought to the game. You brought a lot more than that, but all of them ain't nice. This is the first time you ever came out and said that you body hold my renegade. Why'd you say that? Blueprint came out in 2001. It's 2018. M. Like News flash. You're not in the same ballpark as over. With the illusion now shattered that M would destroy the career of anyone who trespassed against him, he would continue to endure more and more disrespect on a regular basis. And in some ways, it was none other than his fellow Dre protege, Snoop Dogg, that set the tone by questioning his legacy on The Breakfast Club. Eminem, the great white hope. White rappers had zero respect in rap. Let's keep that one thou out. Well. No, he uh. has probably put Eminem in a position where he could be labeled as one of the top 10 rappers ever. I don't think so, but the game feels like he's top 10 lyricist and all that that comes with it, but that's just because he's with Dr. Dre, and Dr. Dre helped him find the best Eminem that he could find. Although it would have admittedly taken him by surprise, it's fair to say that M's response came across as more hurt than vengeful on music to be murdered by Zeus. With Eminem spitting that, I'm used to people knocking me, but just not in my can. Last thing I need is Snoop Dogging me. However, the beef would blow over fairly shortly when they collaborated on the track from the D to the LBC. But while two legends hashing out their differences set a good example to the youth, you can't help but take notice of the fact that this would have been inconceivable in the era with the all-powerful Slim Shady. I reacted to that, uh, to that music video, by the way. I just remembered. You feel me? So y'all go check that out, man. But unleash the fiercest smear campaigns pop culture has ever seen. Let's not forget... This is the man that essentially ended an incredibly prosperous career in Ja Rules. It rendered someone like Moby a cultural punchline for decades in a way that he's never fully recovered from. And when it comes to signs of the reputational damage that Emmett suffered, none come more clear-cut than the game's complete 180 towards Shady and the prospect of feuding with him. I used to think Eminem was better than me. He's not. He's not. He's not. Challenge it. I'm not saying I want to smoke with Eminem. I'm saying I want to smoke with Eminem, him, and him. In an effort to coax Shady into a feud, Game would release The Black Slim Shady, a 10-minute track which is dedicated to trashing M and making a mockery of his style. On top of that, he's doubled down by taking aim at one soft spot that previously brought out Marshall's most ruthless side, his daughter, Haley. Although the game's attempts to draw Shady into a feud speaks to M's relevancy and the clout that his name still holds, the fact that he's gone from cowering in fear to taking aim at M depicts how the culture's perception of Shady has changed over the years. As now, he feels he could withstand even the worst that Shady could bring and escape with his career intact. From conceding that he was a guest in the house of hip-hop to apologizing to the likes of Tyler, the creator, and Rihanna for lyrics. If and anything, it'll, it'll, it'll almost be like a resurgence of a career, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, Eminem is still relevant. So it's like, if Eminem diss you, then, yeah, you're like, people will look at his diss be like, oh, snap, the game I haven't seen him or heard of him in a minute, or, like, or I've never even heard of this cat before. Who is it? You feel me? Like... <laughs> Besides the weakness that he has now by making like, too you know, many let's not cap Eminem like we're still talking about him right now you know what I'm saying while watching the video about him right now they're yeah no nah, he's still plugged you feel me like he's <laughs> you know what I'm saying he's still like known like it's like it's undeniable undisputable you know what I'm saying like yo yeah he's him still you feel me still up there you feel me Concessions of, like, and the genre demands that you stick to your guns. As a result, and if he drops some, best believe it hit a million views in a couple hours, bro. I put that on. Shady's gone from being respected for never bowing to pressures to filter his work to actively seeking to fit in with today's society when he realized that the shock tactics of the past had lost their vitality. Left with mounting criticism, one thing that hasn't helped him is the fact that those who are clearly influenced by him also command very little respect. As for every Kohler Kendrick who's been yeah, nah, like this dude, like let's not deny it. these are all M clones right here, bro. Oh. <laughs> I looked at Hobson, I was like, nah. Well, yeah, yeah, because I, I like I like Hobson, I like Hobson. Um. Yeah. Those who are clearly influenced by him also command very little respect. 
Otherwise, for every Cole or Kendrick who's paid tribute to him in the past, you have his disciples such as Hobson, Dax, and Token. Who are yeah, see, like, like he said, there's a difference between... Uh, them is the fact that those who are clearly influenced by him also command very little respect. As for every Cole or Kendrick who's paid tribute to him in the past, you have his disciples... Yeah, like, uh, there's a difference between paying tribute and just, like... What you disciples such as Hobson. Yeah, yeah, you know, being a disciple and stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like... Come on, son. It's like, go in your own lane. You know, like, pay tribute for what he possibly contributed towards your career. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just as long as you do your own thing. You feel me? It's like, you, you do not got copy his exact style of rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, like word, well, not word for word, bar for bar, but, like, flow and everything, bro. It's like... Alright, man. And it's like, even the freaking content, I don't know, maybe the content gets overshadowed by, you know, their, their, their Eminem-ish vibe, you know, the other Eminem-ish vibes, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't know. For sure, though. Corny, rather than culturally vital. With these rappers who've traced Eminem's rhyme schemes and cadence finding more ridicule than reverence, it doesn't help that, through his success, Eminem also finds himself confined to a box in terms of his artistry. And as famed battle rapper and TDE affiliate Daylight thinks, this too feeds into the disrespect he faces. As today, M's audience only want one thing from him, and it's not anything groundbreaking. I mean, there's a lot of people in this world that don't relate to Eminem. The black, the black community, like, the super urban community. I think we like Eminem, and I'll say this because I'm an Eminem fan. We like Eminem for his wordplay, but as far as, like, actual content, whenever Eminem tries to go very content-based, the world doesn't with it. He dropped Kamikaze, everybody jumped back. Eminem's back, but it was a bunch of nothing. Gibberish. But everybody was like, yo, Eminem's back! We've been waiting for this! He's back! Eminem, rival, he was trying to tell the world something, and they wasn't trying to hear it. Clearly aware of the criticism that now meets his every verse, it's telling that the audience fatigue and inability to recapture his former glories is something that M has acknowledged on wax. In a moment of candidness from Kamikaze's stepping stone, Shady captured the very essence of the problem, spitting. I will always be here, but that spark isn't there, and I don't know how to recapture that time and that era. I've tried hearkening back to it, but I'm fighting for air. I'm barely charting myself. Feels like I'm on the descent. Treated with even more disdain now by today's tastemakers than he ever was by the Benzino Rand source, everything from the media's view of him to the comments from his fellow rappers creates the notion that Shady of today is a shell of his former self. And while Jay-Z famously remarked on the Black Album that they never really miss you till you dead or you gone, it appears that before Eminem can bow out of hip-hop, he's got to reassert himself if he's ever to claim the spot that he believes he deserves in the top fives, or if he's ever to be feared as he once was long ago. Do 444. Shit. Alright, you guys. So that was why hip hop doesn't respect Eminem anymore. <sighs> I mean, y'all grow up, dog. You feel me? Um, and it's crazy because, like, in entertainment industry years, it's like if you join in young as a young star, it's like you don't even have to be 50 to phase out. You could be like, 30 and phase out, you know what I'm saying? Like, the little Romeo, the little Bow Wow, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> young stars, like, come in when they're eight, bro. And, like, this just doesn't even be, well, it's mostly music, but sometimes, you know, this can happen in movies, you know, if you're, uh, if you're a famous movie star or, uh, I don't know, some type of other uh, athlete or something, you know what I'm saying? It's like, but it happens mostly it happens mostly with musicians if you stick to that one lane of music, you know what I'm saying? If you don't venture to do other things, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that also possibly keep you in the spotlight. Um, but yeah, it's like, you know, you could come in at eight and it's like, you do your thing for years, for years. People love you, people love you. And by the time you like hit 30 or something, it's like, you know, you just don't capture that same spark because people now know you as that little, you know, Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone. You feel me? And it's like, you know, you're trying to, I don't know, talk about other content, but still be yourself and stuff, and, but it still just doesn't capture. Honestly, I just say like, you know, uh, keep trying. You know what I'm saying? Like, dog, you're going to capture another spark. 
sometimes they say lightning doesn't strike in the same place twice, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, if a tree fell down in the woods and nobody hears it, did it make a sound? You feel me? So, <laughs> I try to combine. <laughs> so, it's like nobody's ever really seen lightning strike twice. Or it happens very rarely, you know? But, the one thing is that, like, energy keeps flowing. You feel me? So, again, a tree could fall in the woods and nobody hear it. Lightning could strike twice and nobody sees it. You know what I'm saying? But, well, not nobody sees it. But it's like people that did see it happen, maybe another group of people, another group of people would see it happen in the same spot and think it's their first time. What people saw, lightning strike in that place. You know what I'm saying? Like, you no, know, they become fans of you. They hear your stuff. They're like, oh my God, who is this guy? Like, it could happen years later in the same place and a different group of people would see it. A different crowd of people would see it and think it's their first time. Again, like, but, I, but I'm saying through that energy keeps flowing. Days keep going by, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, keep trying, keep going, you know what I'm saying? Like energy, keep flowing. And, you know, you'll land something in the same place to a brand new group of eyes. Huh. <laughs> I like I ain't about to say, you know, like I just laid the game on y'all, but you know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know your thoughts about it down in the comment section down below, man. Y'all know boom with Bali Star. Make sure you leave a like just below the video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new so that we can join up with the all star gang up in this thing. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. One hundred. Oh she turned up, she turned out. Yeah, she turned hey. on my own. On my own, on my own If I get it, then I got it And I'm all up in the mix I don't care what you talking about You talking off the shit, get back She said, why you leave me on? I know you don't deserve me We got icy cold, we were want to Albuquerque oh. Did me wrong, you don't deserve me oh. She said that you don't deserve me Yeah, it goes down in the bar Girls all fashion out